So I've been rocking this HP Pavilion laptop now for over a year and it's been fantastic, but I decided to put together a whole setup around it because I think that it is a very powerful system for not a lot of money and you can really get a lot out of it if you just put together a whole system around it. But of course I wanted something flexible that I could build off of later so I wasn't stuck on just this system alone. And really the key to that is this USB-C dock that I got on Amazon for around $28 it really brings out the whole system together the main reason being is that we get some usb ports we get an sd card reader and a micro sd card reader but the ethernet is really the most important thing to me here of course we do get the added benefit of an hdmi audio out and even a vga port which is actually surprising how much we could get out of just this one dock alone of course another accessory that comes in handy is having an actual laptop stand to keep it cool because really a lot of modern laptops will actually end up struggling in terms of heat not necessarily because they don't have the proper cooling but it's because they're being suffocated because of the ventilation being on the bottom and overall it just looks nice it elevates the system and you get some nice temperatures out of it you really don't need active cooling on these things most of the time when you see a laptop stand with fans on it you actually don't need it it really isn't doing much most of the time it's actually cheap fans that don't even have the power to properly cool anything just getting yourself a nice stand that actually Actually elevates the system is already going to do more than enough to keep this actually cool and of course here is where it all just goes down to whatever it is that you want to get of course we have it paired here with a 144 hertz monitor with a usb keyboard and a usb mouse of course you can always go wireless with both the mouse and the keyboard if you're willing to spend that kind of money but overall, this is a simple setup that you can have going on here. And the laptop itself will actually be able to take advantage of up to 144 hertz, depending on the specific model. Now, the one that I have here does not actually support 144 hertz over HDMI. It only goes up to 120. That's still perfectly fine for me. But you can actually find displays that support 144 hertz over HDMI. But overall, everything we have here is perfectly fine for getting a nice, simple gaming setup going on on here with a laptop that in certain games will actually be able to take full advantage of all of it so if you're someone that plays games like valorant or league of legends you're actually going to be able to take advantage of this higher refresh rate and of course having the full mouse and keyboard is going to make the whole experience a whole lot better but of course, a lot of us aren't just playing games on our systems. We're also using it for schoolwork. We're using it to talk to our friends. We are pretty much using it for all kinds of different things. And you're going to need a little bit more accessories if you want to actually have the full experience. And really, that's where having a USB audio interface paired with an XLR microphone actually completes the whole setup here. We pretty much have this going right here. This is a fantastic little budget setup to actually get the most out of your budget laptop. And of course, what brings this whole system together is this USB-C dock from iCling. Now, this is, of course, just a generic dock. There's nothing really special or unique about this. There are pretty much all kinds of different variations of this one. What I really like about it is, of course, the fact that it has a wide selection of ports and it has, of course, the HDMI and the VGA port. The VGA port is not a deal breaker or anything like that, but it is a nice to have because it actually does let you hook up some pretty old monitors on here. That you can just throw on if you're using this with a very cheap system i can pretty much guarantee that there's someone out there looking to get rid of an old vga display that you can pretty much pick up for practically nothing or maybe a couple of bucks and just hook it up to a laptop and have a secondary display for discord and things like that and of course another key piece is this behringer euphoria um2 audio interface now this is just a extremely cheap usb audio interface I managed to actually pick it up for 25 dollars a couple of years ago I've been using it on and off for years now. It's not my main audio interface, but it is a cheap little secondary one that I have that I use for pretty much any secondary systems that I have. The microphone you use isn't really as important. It's just nice to have the actual audio interface itself. It's really simple. It just connects over USB. It does have phantom power and it actually even has a couple of audio outputs if you want to hook up some speakers. Again, get whatever microphone fits your budget, but having one of these is actually really nice, but I would recommend actually 
actually getting the UM22 instead. It's pretty much the newer generation of this one, though it's been out for a couple of years. But again, the microphone does not matter. Just having the audio interface itself is going to already be an improvement. I just picked up this MXL mic open box for around 25 bucks as well. This was actually a couple of weeks ago. And so far, I've actually liked the audio. It pairs really well with this. And overall, it really brings the whole setup together. And that's pretty much all you really need here at this point. We have pretty much a perfect gaming setup for really not a lot of money here. You pretty much just hook up the audio interface and hook it up to the microphone itself. And you're good to go if you want to talk to your friends on Discord, if you even want to actually start doing some live streaming or anything like that. I'll be leaving some links down below to all of the things that I use here. But this was really just a simple setup that I got going here on the corner of my desk, just because I really needed something to have the laptop permanently set up instead of just having it floating around all over the place. But anyways, I will see you guys next time.